Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. Another day and more mods. It's Thursday the 19th of August. Uh, we've got four updates today. The map Ravensburg by Topace888. The map uh, Nordic Country by Holtzbub66 and Thilu LP. The pack of Polish greenhouses uh, to with tomatoes, I think, by Bar T, and the placeable brand logos by Sevi Modding. They've added a Fent one and a John Deere one to that. Um, those are the updates for today. In front of me, we have got the Wyatt Farms American Barn. 1.54 megabytes download, one slot on console. It has automatic lighting at night. Collisions on the walls, so if you want to put grain and stuff in it, you can it's um i think the scaling's off if i'm honest the the paneling for the roof i don't know it just seems very big when you get close to it could just be me but like i say the lighting does come on at night so i'll use the torch to come inside when we come inside american flag on the back wall And this you'll find under uh, sheds. 2,500 to buy. It's one slot anyway, so it stays at one slot. There you go. Wyatt's Farm American Barn by 810 Mods. Next, we have got the Ice Cafe. This is an ice cream, outdoor ice cream parlor cafe with sell point, without sell point. And you can just have the ice cream truck or the ice cream cart um, on its own. Nicely made and nicely detailed. This is uh, 3.12 megabytes download. It's by The Lort. It's seven slots for the one with the cell point. Six slots for the one without the cell point. So that's just a decorative object, really. And then it's three slots for this one here on the end, which is just a little ice cream. What I love is this. Cool tractor ice cream from local farms. Contains milk from extraordinarily happy cows. That's what you want, isn't it? Extraordinarily happy cows. So, you'll find it. And the placeables and miscellaneous. I say it, them. The Ice Cafe is 100,000. Um, and you can sell all those crop types there. The Ice Cafe without selling station is 75 grand, but no sell point. And the ice cream truck is only 5 grand. You can still sell all the same things, but you just don't have all the chairs and tables and stuff. I mean, personally, I would go with the ice cream truck. It's a much cheaper alternative. But if you want something a bit more decorative, you absolutely can. When we come out of there and go to our sell point screen, prices screen, you can see the Ice Cafe prices run right the way across there we go and then we go up to ice cream truck it yeah, just adds in another sell point and they're all kind of fairly competitive they all go up and down they're not all fixed prices at the same price they do fluctuate like any other sell point uh, that's by the lot next we've got the pre-molded shed by dayton enrique this is 3.07 megabytes download five slots on console large building structure with two side annexes i guess you'd call them uh, we have light switch up at the back here big old building plenty of space you will find this also under placeables and sheds 45 grand for the pre-molded shed slot count will go down from five to one next some more sheds uh, this is the machine shed pack by mcknight g these are seven slots each 5.9 megabytes to download uh, these are seasons ready slash compatible we have a closed in shed we have a drive-through shed and we have a completely open shed in this pack you will find them under sheds and in the corner of each one here there's a little marked area with a light switch Very nice. Again, cavernous space in these. Absolutely huge buildings. Nicely made. Nice bit of weathering, detailing. 
and then the open one here if you want to be able to have access to drive right the way through from any direction this one may be the one for you place horse and sheds again so like there's seven slots each for the first one which then drops to one 30,690 for the closed in one 29 grand for the drive through and 27 grand for the completely open one lovely that's by McKnight G. Moving through, we have got the Indoor British Cow Barn. This by Kareto Farms. It is 10.26 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. Now, there's something you might also already notice. Bit of clipping through the wall for the cows. I think that might be something to do with the nav mesh. Now, this could be to do with the map because it's no man's land and you've got the um, water plane. But in placing this, I've got this gap... You can see in the corner, all the way along this trench here, this trough here, there's a, a dip that drops down there and across the front edge here. Now, there could be another reason for that, which you'll see in just a moment. Nice size building. This will do 150 cows. Milk point is just here. This is where things got a little bit weird because that says, that, well, that's got a straw bale there. That's where your dialogue box comes up for your 150, buying, selling, loading or unloading. I managed to put the feed in just along the trough along there. Straw was more towards this end, and water was almost as soon as I got into the entrance here. Now, the outside here, we've got a switch for lighting. Turns the lights on or off inside. This one does something a little bit different. If you look inside there, we've got these channels, and I think this may be why there's a dip. Those channels are for a scraper. So rather than mucking out, you run the scraper and it takes the manure and puts it out the other end. If I click that. So the scrapers run to the far end. Scrape out any mess the animals make. Nice sound effect to that too. That's a cool function, that. If we come to the other end, we've got our slurry point and our manure point just here. Almost there. And it brings them out the other end. So, yeah, I mean, I, li I like that. I like that scraper. That's really cool. I'm, not, I'm just not sure about the dip. I mean, maybe if you've tried it on the map or you are trying it on the map that you're on, are you having that same thing underneath? Or is that just specific to No Man's Land? I would be interested to find out, actually. But anyway, you will find it. Under Animal Pens, 180 grand slot count will go down from 22 to 2. So yeah, that's by Kureto Farms. As we move through, we're going to come to a couple of inputs, then we'll get onto the last of the sheds. Next up, we've got this. This is the implement mover for skid steer loaders. This is by EY Modding, 0.43 megabytes download, one slot on console. It is designed to go on a skid steer loader with a three-point link on the front, and it is designed for moving stuff around yards, tidying up, that kind of thing. It doesn't operate the implements. What it did do with this, I just grabbed something to bring out. It did allow me to open the cover, but you can't turn on the spreader or spray or anything like that. And whether that will be the same with all implements, maybe you'll get something that will work off the front of this, but you'll find it under tools and skid steer loaders. The implement mover is 900. Uh, it's one slot anyway, so it stays at one slot. We can change the main colour from black to red. And that's it, really. Uh, what we'll do is hook up to it. Hook up to that. And as you can see, you can raise and lower L1 and circle. Does, well, it does a kind of a little bit of a tilt, really. But like I say, you can open and close the cover on this particular one, but it won't let me do anything else. It will just allow for storing, placing of, I mean, that sort of thing. You can put that up out of the way on shelving and racking, which you can't do normally off the back of a tractor. It's on a three-point link. So there we go. Implement mover for skid steer loaders by EY Modding. Fantastic. 
Uh, next, we've got this. This is intriguing. Uh, this is the Gavile BZT. This is by Agra Design Austria Fabian Gogo Bear. 3.03 megabytes download, three slots on console. Three point link mounted. Prongs on the front. That is, it's a bale splitter, is what it's down as. That is uh, a cover for the bale spikes for transport. And in essence, it's designed a little bit like the um, bale shredders, but you put it in and it rotates and kind of unravels the bale, because obviously when a bale is made, it's rolled, the round bales are rolled when they go through the baler. So this unrolls the, the bale, enabling it to be put out for bedding or whatever else it needs to be used for. This you'll find, it was under animals, not under baling technology. The Gervile BZT Bale Splitter, 2150 to buy. Slot count will go down from 3 to 1. Option design colour is just the, the logo, the name on there. You can have it as blue or you can have it as yellow. If you wish. So, let's hook up. So, L1 and X takes the cover off. L1 and circle, lowers it, then raises it. There's no tilt option or anything on or like on this. So when you get to your round bale, as far as I'm aware, this only works around bales. It's not designed for square bales. Lower it, spear the bale, raise it, and then off you go for transport, wherever you want to go to. And when you get to where you're going, you can actually change it to tip side left or right. Um, where are we? There we go. Tip side left tip side right if I unload now what should happen is that whole thing will spin L1 R1 and unload here see it spinning in essence what that's doing is just unraveling the bale so you can drive along and it unravels the bale as you go or we can do tip side left and do the same thing Obviously the bale isn't spinning, but the, the thing is, I was really hoping the bale would spin as it goes as well, but... So you can just basically take apart a bale, put it in for bedding, or whatever else you want to do with it. That's pretty cool, that. Something a bit different, isn't it? The Gavile BZT by Agra Design Austria, Fabian Gogo Bear. Next, we have got this rather lovely looking building lots of detail on this this is the storage shed by lancy boy uh, this is 21 slots 11.84 megabytes download it's seasons ready as is the cow barn actually i meant to say that that's seasons ready and the machine shed pack is seasons ready as well um but considering it's only 11.84 megabytes and 21 slots. The level of detail on it is incredible. The brickwork, the texturing, the weathering, like the dirt on the sections down the bottom here. Very nice indeed. Three doorways. I was expecting that to have more of a metallic-y sound, like a, a motorised sound, rather than that sound like a wooden door. It just threw me a little bit. I was just, yeah. Uh, at the far end here, we've got a light switch for our lighting. Even down to like the oil stains and marks on the floor. Uh, I think we've got, I mean, definitely out, sorry, the cracks on the paving outside as well. That's really nice, that. So, storage shed by Lancy Boy. You'll find this under placeables and sheds. 200 grand so it's not cheap but i suppose yeah we get used to getting sheds and buildings that are fairly cheap and it's nice to have a cheap building with plenty of space but i suppose in the real world if you're going to build something of these sizes they're going to cost a lot of money uh, but it's 200 grand for that uh what's next on my list oh yes this way We've got this. This is the Lizard R300 R400 by Bartson V3. There are two of these, the 300 and 400. 300 is 3 metres, 400 is 4 metres. Four slots each. 
Now, on the website, it does say it's best to cultivate the soil with a roller after sowing to save fertilizer. The roller gives one phase of fertilization, but you'll find it under weeders. Or was it under miscellaneous? It was under miscellaneous, but it says it's a weeder. It really threw me. Um, let's go to miscellaneous. So as you can see there, it says, weeders pull out small grown weeds between crops, improving the field state. They can only be used in the first grown stage of crops. So that threw me. So they're under miscellaneous. They're saying they're weeders, but the website says they're fertilizer spreaders. I do apologize. My nose is streaming and um, <laughs> I'm just making silly mistakes now. Right. So we can change this. Same on both. The main color to anything on that palette changes the framework like that accessories we can have none one warning sign so a triangle two warning triangles warning signs rear warning signs front warning signs and warning triangles for some reason it takes one off and then all off again not sure why uh, then we've got no stickers no lights with stickers and lights lights without stickers stickers without lights no stickers no lights so, a few different options we can go with. Now, I meant to bring my tractor with me. Hang on a second. That's better. So, we do have lights on it if you go for the option with lights. Indicators two. Now we turn it on. Then we drop it down. We get a fertilising state, as you'll see from the ground as we go. I seem to be offset to the right quite a bit. But we are fertilising as we go. That's actually... Whoa, hang on a minute. Right, drop that down. Maximum speed whilst fertilising is 9 miles an hour. Let's raise that up. And look at the ground. Although it's still only let me go at 9 miles an hour. Oh, it's because it's still turned on. Well, that's interesting, so we don't actually even have to lower it down. That's weird. Blimey, okay, well, there you go. The Agramash. Did I even say what it was? Not Agramash, I did, yeah, the Lizard R300, R400. I'm going slightly mad. Drop that off, I'm thinking of the next one. Um, so there we go. Well, uh, that's my Bartson V3. Under miscellaneous, not a weeder, but a fertiliser. Giver, not spreader or even sprayer, really. Next, we have got the Agrimash Juro I30 I40. This is, by, this is also by Bartson V3, actually. This is three slots. This is a subsoiler. This is one of the ones that's got the hole through the middle and three-point link attachment on the back. So you could technically put a three or four metre cedar on the back of that, or planter. The PTO can still go through the gap between the, the hole in the middle of the subsoiler, so you could subsoil and seed at the same time. What should happen, we drop it down, we get subsoiling, which is the ploughed state, but we get a cultivated look, which is normally what you get from subsoilers. Should have left it in the ground, really. Let's raise that up. So, this you'll find, not surprisingly, under subsoilers. There we go. The Agrimash Duro I30 I40. 10,000 to buy. It's only 3.87 megabytes, which is pretty good, actually. 150 horsepower required. Now, it says 3 metres wide, the I30... But if I now go to I-40, you notice it gets a lot wider, but the width doesn't change. It says it's still three metres, but I'm sure that's four. We go from three metres to four metres. I'm pretty sure that's the whole point between the I-40 and the I-30. There we go. Subsoiler from Bartson V3. Next, we have got this. I really like this. The design of it, the look of it. I don't know what it is I like about it, but I just do... This is the colour it kind of comes standard. I just left it pretty much. 
This is the RZHT4M, this is by FSSA modding team. 15.89 megabytes download, one slot on console. This is a 10 meter slurry or digestate spreader with a few different options on this as well. The boom does swing out so you can simulate collecting or unloading your fertilizer, your uh, slurry digestate if you want to. We are showing full as well. This you'll find under slurry tanks. 5,300. It's a 5,800 litre tank. It's not huge. It's for smaller farms and fields. Only 70 horsepower required. We'll run at 10 miles per hour. Options available. We can change the main colour. Turn anything on that palette. Rim colour. Turn anything on that palette. We do have a galvanised there as well if you want to go for a more metallic look. Design colour is for the pipe so we can change it to black or there's a, another black which is, I think is a more shiny black then at the front we've got new PTO or old PTO then we'll set up we've got Rosava, Nortec, uh, Delitaya, Voltaire I think it is back to Rosava then protection cover on or off that's the belt drive cover there you can have that on or off those are your options. Let's hook it up. L1, a right stick side to side. Swings the boom out. I'd love that little bit of a that little bump when it kind of hooks into place. When we get out to here, then L1 and right stick up and down, we can raise and lower it so you can kind of put it into or out of whatever you, you're simulating, you're collecting from, if you wish. We turn it on. And there we go, we are slurry spreading. Nice animation. Nice sound effect. Nice bit of suspension movement underneath that as well. It's very cool. There we go. The RZHT4M by FSSA modding team. Next, we've got this. This is the Russell Mash DP by Army Hale. 6.53 megabytes download, six slots on console. This is a plow, which you'll find helpfully under plows. 15 grand, 3.5 meters wide, requires 160 horsepower, will run at nine miles per hour. No options, you get it in the Russell Ash red. Uh, now it says it runs at nine miles per hour. So here's the thing. We can get onto the field. We can raise and lower it. Once it's lowered, we drive forward, we get our ploughing. Which is fine. But here's the thing. L1 and right stick side to side. Sorry, L1 and right stick up and down. We can raise and lower it ourselves. So you can bring it up and down. So when you're almost touching the soil, not completely down. R1 and, and uh, right stick up and down gives you a bit of tilt as well. So you can do a bit of tilt if you want to, to adjust for the heights of whatever you're pulling it with. Now, if I accelerate now, I'm still ploughing but I'm not going at, as you can see, I'm not going at nine miles an hour. I'm going a little bit faster. Because you can do that manual adjustment. So whilst it is only 3.5 metres wide, the fact you can do that means you can really speed that up. So just a tiny bit of adjustment. Let's adjust that again back a little bit. Just needs a bit of tweaking just so it gets the right height. There we go.
This will allow you to create fields as well. If you wish to create fields, you can. They'll want a triangle. If you put it lower down enough, of course. We can create our own fields too. Also, at quite a pace, if you wish to. So, whilst on the sort of face of it, you look initially think, well, it's a 3.5 metre plough. It's a bit small. It's, you know, that's actually rather handy. They're also most DP by Army How. I mean, I don't know if that's intentional, but it is a happy uh, byproduct, shall we say. Which brings us on to the last of the mods for today, and it's this. This is the Leapair TL436-7. It's by KRKZ Modding. 15.49 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. Now, we already have the Leapair uh, TL436-7 uh, that Giant Software released as a mod. This has got a few more customization options on it. As you can see, we've got some wider, almost kind of grass tyres on it. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it is... In essence, the same, but with a little bit more thrown in. You will find this under vehicles and telehandlers. 73 grand, 122 horsepower. We can change the rim colour from grey to yellow. We can have Trelleborg, Michelin or Nokian. Trelleborg, we've got standard or those wider sort of grass flotation tyres. Under Michelin, we've just got standard wide tyres. I do like the tread on those, though. I'll be honest, they're pretty cool. And then under knock-in, we've got standards, or we've got wides as well. Then we're back to Trelleborg. Then we've got the option of fenders no or yes, so you can add your fenders on or not add them, if you wish. It's in touch to you. Does it quite cool without as well. And then beacon light, yes or no, as an option there. We do have an opening door. I think it's L1 and right stick. Oh, L1 and right stick up and down. No. <laughs> Told you about nothing today. R1 and right stick side to side. There we go. Open and closing door. And then we've got all the usual boom controls and stuff that you expect from your telehandler. Obviously, that can cause problems with the door, especially with a console controller. Lights, beacon, horn, interior, nice and tidy, visibility is pretty good, yeah that door is going to potentially be an issue if, let I say, just has to keep the controller over over to one side but yeah I do like those chunky tyres I do like those kind of flotation ones on it pretty cool nice tight turning circle nice cheap uh, telehandler as well 73 grand not too bad so there you go the Leaper TL436-7 by KRKZ Modding and that's it for the mods for today. Apologies again for the few mishaps along the way. <laughs> a couple of sneezing fits later and I've got there. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.